Hello. I have to talk to you. I'm just across the street from your house, but I so made you go out just now. I would come right over, but your cleaning lady's there. Get rid of her. I must see you well alone. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you. I must talk to you at once. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. My husband? Oh, he's gone to the refinery. Uh, he'll be back this afternoon. It's important that I speak to him. An hour to quarter get there. Mm, you could try calling in about an hour. Would you like to wait in his office? No, thanks. Just tell him I'm on my way there. Will you do that? Uh, Signora, um, are you feeling all right? Uh, yes, thanks. Voilà 
passe là, je suis arrivé. Vous pouvez me, me laisser ici Non, 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 non. Je vous euh, accompagne euh, jusqu'à peu. Et si vous voulez, euh, je, vous, je vous attends. On me raccompagnera dans les voitures. Qui avait là Trois femmes. C'est Oui. Les voilà. Vous voulez la troisième La grande-mère de la plus jeune. Et puis que sa fille est morte, il n'a plus quitté sa chambre. Je ne l'ai jamais vue. Et l'autre C'est une gouvernante qui se charge de tout. Je regrette de ne pas pouvoir vous inviter à descendre, mais aujourd'hui c'est l'anniversaire de la mort de Madame Soumy. Elle est enterrée ici dans le jardin. Je suis venu bénir sa tombe pour me tous les ans. Merci. De bien. Au revoir. de la même chose. Oui, ce Evening. Hotels are uh, really depressing at night. I'd like to see the town, but I don't really know it yet. And I thought... Il y a un monsieur très important qui voulait vous voir. Could... Vous parlez anglais? Yes, I do. But I'm not alone. Arrêtez ici, s'il vous plaît. Camion Come 
monsieur, prends de l'art pour rentrer. Euh, euh, Dis-moi, est-ce qu'une une jeune femme blanche est venue ici Oui, un instant, mais prends de l'art d'abord. Euh. Bien, fais celui moi ici. dollars. Why? You took a hundred. My client told me. Okay, do what you like. I just want you to know I'll never set foot in here again and neither will they. Did you enjoy yourself tonight? No. But you came here anyway. All in a day's work. Mm. Shall we see each other later? An American friend of mine, Matthew. Oh, how do you do? Come in. I thought you should see your dancer. Of course. Please, sit down. You know the rules of the house, so I'll leave you to it. Thank you.
Are they charming? Huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hello, Nina. Try this one. Hey, ciao, Bernard. Don't worry, it's on the house. It's the best you can get. I'm sure. Don't you like it? No, 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 it's not that. I just prefer more natural highs. And, uh, you promised to come back to the hotel afterwards. Uh, that stuff makes you weak need, you know. Yeah, but it removes your inhibitions. Yeah. Okay, I'll get you something to drink. Thank you. enough to remove my inhibition. says you're very pleasant. Me? Oh. Kind of would like to make you acquaintance. Where's Nina? She left. She was tired. I'd be so upset if you left. Uh, which one's Connor? Him. Him? Isn't he beautiful? Come to the sitting room. Down, make yourself at home. And I bet you good night. for leaving me in the lurch last night. <laughs> Did you enjoy Cana? Hmm? I told you it was a place full of things you would love. Cana's very attractive. I left right after you did. No, you stayed and enjoyed yourself. Gali was watching. He sent you his compliments. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You mean to tell me that old guy was... Uh... That old guy does no harm to anybody. Oh, yeah, except maybe to Cana. That's a problem you should have thought of last night. <laughs> Well, Nina, come on. I was stoned on hashish. There's no need to make excuses. Matthew, listen, I must go now. I've got some deluxe tourists. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You think we could uh, get together this evening? I've already told you at night. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. I know, I know, I know. You get cozy with any stranger that comes along and you take their money and get your cut. Okay. How about I pay you for an evening? Consider it a business proposition. If you think I'm offended. Okay, it's a deal. I'll expect you in the bar at 9 o'clock. Okay. Écoutez. You will be punctual.
Matthew. Mm. Nina couldn't come. She sent me in her place. Oh. May I sit down? Oh, yeah, sure, sure. What are we going to do? Anything you like. Oh, uh, let's hear what you had in mind. Uh, playing around or belly dancing? I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Why couldn't Nina come? She had to see her father. Uh, yeah, she could have invented a better excuse than that. I assure you, it's true. Yeah. Nina said I was to take her place for everything. Of course, if you're not game. Oh, well, wow. <laughs> Um, I mean, you, you are uh, very pretty. In, in fact, quite beautiful. <laughs> you sure you aren't a boy? Are you kidding? You want a drink? Why not? Garçon, civil play. Hey, Matthew. Matthew, Hi. hang on a second. Hold up, buddy. What? Get late marriage? Oh, Jesus, give me a break. I just cut what, back. Did you meet anybody? Yeah, gorgeous brunette. Oh, uh, they were all dark. Oh, and a blonde, too. Eat your heart out, buddy. In the bar of your hotel? Yeah. Italian? I don't know if she was Italian. I didn't ask. Oh, when that takes you out and has you spend your money? You know her? Nina? Of course I know her. Uh, she's the one you, you find in the bars of the best hotels. She drives the shit out of you and gives you the impression that she's available. Know what I mean? Hey, wait a minute. Don't try and tell me you made it with her. Because I wouldn't believe you. Uh, no. but what is she doing down here, anyway? Uh, her father's in jail. And she wants to be near him. In jail? He killed his uh, wife and his mother. And that's the reason. Well, you know, being in jail is a pretty tough thing. Unless you got bread. That's the reason she's always out there hustling money any way she can. Except for one. You know what I mean? Unless she gave you a uh, special treatment. Come on, what is a special treatment? She ditched me the minute I looked away. Where? In a hotel bar. Why? Usually it's the house of an uh, old faggot. Uh, one who uh, gives her money when she brings her uh, clients there. She invites you there? No. Oh, come on, don't fuck with me today. Uh -oh. <laughs> Mr. Sami, you're the only one who uses our library. No, that's not true. There's a lot of interesting crime stories, but the ones we have, they've already read. We should do something about that. And find new ones. You know, I always buy them when I can. There are other books. It's a big library. I'm not even sure the regulations permit crime stories. Well, what did you bring him today? If you want to oh, see it. Oh, no, don't open it. Omar will see to it. It's his job. I leave you in the good company of your books and your daughter. Au revoir, Monsieur Sir. Thank you. Sir, about that favor. We'll see. Over. I'll ride with you if I give this to our son. What is it? Uh, Wuthering Heights. 
It appears to be a good translation. I don't know. Could it be subversive? No, not a bit. Don't worry. He'll probably never read it. Omar, let me visit in his no, cell. I can't. Come on, ten minutes. Yes, an operator, all in Arabic. I saw one once. I nearly died laughing. Oh, thanks. Did you bring a cigarette? You smoked the others already. You mean now you're counting them? No. I wish he wouldn't smoke so much. Did you speak to the warden? Yeah. He said he's got to think about it. It's only three months since your last pass. Oh. He's got to think about the others. What others? That ridiculous is the one who runs this place. It's more money he wants. Now pay it, or you're becoming a miser. Oh, that's great, me a miser. I'm trying to save, that's all. Omar wants more, too. How do you know? Did he ask? Not in so many words. Didn't you notice? He always locks the door. Well, he didn't today. Tomorrow I have a tour with a group of Americans. With a bit of luck, I have the money for your pass before ah. long. It takes patience. Yeah, patience, patience, patience. Don't bruise me. I have you. to work. Nina, who are these American tourists you're taking around? A couple with three kids. It's always wholesome families you get, isn't it? The agency chooses, not me. Why don't you admit it? What you driving at? Tell the truth. Where do you really get the money? When you talk to me like that, I hate you. We're done. for a book. Here. Or somebody who blows up embassies. I suppose the choice isn't the best. What's it about? A love story. Beautiful. You are in prison because of love. You are ridiculous. Pathetic. <laughs> I thought myself a hero. How's it going? No complaints. Bonjour. Hey, what are you I've been waiting for you for an hour. You're neglecting your work. And what about you? Oh, uh, well, you know, the president of the Kellogg Oil Company is coming to Morocco, and we have to get yeah, him a welcome yeah. present. And I thought maybe you could uh, give me some advice. And I asked you to buy it? Well, they actually uh, was a colleague of mine but I convinced them to let me do it. How much do you want to spend? They said a handsome present. I mean, after all, he is the uh, president of a multinational, huh? Back as soon as possible. Sure. Go ahead. Let me see. Mm. What do you think? Bonjour. I can't do it for any less. This piece is over 300 years old. It's very rare. I'm giving you a very good price. Seems more like 50 years old to me. Well, as for the wife of the president, uh, the price is fine. No, wait. I know it's not your money. Ah, I trust you. 
I was going to go to the uh, goldsmith at the hotel because it was guaranteed. But the young lady here insisted that I come to you. In fact, she practically forced me. Can you give me a bill with a receipt on this? Of course, I love it. Thank you. You know, you have done an enormous favor, much bigger than you think. It's the Kellogg Oil Company that's paying. Money is very important to me. Maybe one day I'll tell you why. Okay. Shall we have lunch together tomorrow? You don't have to feel obliged. I don't feel obliged. Yeah. Just like this one. No, seen from a Hollywood movie. It may be an Italian. Me. Tell me about Italy. All right. You never been there? I was just a child. I think I remember Milan a little. <clears throat> Miss it? No. Listen, I'd like to make you a proposal. We knock off work at noon Friday. I can be here the following morning. There's a lot of things I'd like to see, and I'd like you to be my guide. Professionally speaking, of course. I mean, after all, one tourist is good as another, huh? I'm leaving tomorrow. Where are you going? Out of town. You know what you are? You're a mirage. I asked me to the house of this Moroccan friend, and you disappear. And, and, and then you make a date, and you have a girlfriend take your place. Then we have lunch together, and now you say you're leaving. Well, so far, my substance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning. Am I disturbing you? Are you the gentleman who was asked to find a gift for your visiting president? Yeah. My daughter hasn't spoken to you about me. No, instead, she's talked about you to me. Even if I had imagined you quite different. Can I sit down, Mr. Jackson? Oh, Mr. Jackson, thank you. So, yes, I had imagined an older gentleman, white hair, a bit of a tummy, a cane, just as I was expecting to find a, a, a Mrs. Jackson. Are you married? No. They decided to let you out today. Yes, and believe me, I got here just as quickly as possible so I could thank your friend. After all, if it wasn't for his generosity, I wouldn't be here. You see, Mr. Jackson, it concerns a special parole. When someone behaves well, they let him out for one week or two, depending, but not for good conduct. Do you understand what I'm getting at? There is not always sufficient money. A few days ago, Nina said, uh, we need a stroke of luck. And so, you have been our stroke of good luck. You should have waited. You're not supposed to be on the street without me. But I couldn't bear it inside. Not a moment more. When they let you out, I'm responsible for everything. Maybe we should bring your friend up to date. Did you know that I'm serving a sentence for homicide? Yeah, I heard. <laughs> That's a relief. Did you tell him, Nina? It's always quite traumatic to have a father in prison. You didn't tell me anything. Ah, no. It's either very moving or very shaming. Why didn't you tell him, Nina? I want to go. No, don't be in such a hurry. Let me enjoy this charming view. Let's go. Ah, that's charming too. <laughs> Just beautiful uh, in motion like the sea, ever changing. Eh? Do you understand? I'm sorry. Forgive me. When will I see you again? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought we could all have dined together. Myself, you, Nina, and Mrs. Jackson. Thank you. 
Why here? Such a nice build-up to the showdown. Plenty of irony, then silence, then violence, and now... What about the married couple with three kids? Anybody else would say thank you. It was because of Matthew I earned the money, otherwise you wouldn't be here. I said thank you. You heard? No, you never. <coughs> you insulted both of us. All I did was behave like a worried father with a daughter who lies. Now hang me for that. Such a performance. It was awful. God knows what he thought. He has more class than anybody. How defense is you in the sack? For your information, I have no intention of going that far. What proof do I have of that, huh? None whatsoever. You have to trust me. Great. Believe what you like. I wouldn't go with someone else the same day they let you out. I'm free to do what I want, when I want, day and night. Remember that. <laughs> I have a confession to make. Those sedatives, they pass out in prison. I have nearly a full bottle. And so? The little bottle gives me a sense of freedom. In jail, you spend a good bit of time thinking of a way out. Oh, great. In other words, what you're saying is, if I leave you, you get your solution. If I ever find out you and he... Will you stop it? <laughs> Should be near here. There it is. Hassan? He's my brother. And you, what's your name? Khadija. Here. Master. How did you meet Hassan? In prison. Why were you in prison? That's my business. Do you want to send any message to him? No. Is he well? Very well. <laughs> Tell him his tongue is sweeter than the honey of the bee. Is she your wife? Right. She's pretty.
Hello, good evening, Mrs. Samir. Hello, Sarah. Good evening. Now what? I'm going to see Granny. You be sure to give her my very best. I'll go and prepare dinner. Sarah, how is my mother-in-law? Same as usual. Why? Why? Oh. And what does she do all day? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Must be something she does. She prays. Ah, Madame Moretti speaks to God, spends her days praying. An authentic Christian, huh? Pardoning those who sin against her. That's not a Madame Moretti I know. Listen, I want your grandmother to confer with my attorney. When? Right away, tomorrow. You know she doesn't want to see anyone. If we continue to wait for her to call him, I'll die in the prison. For you, this is normal. You're used to me being locked in a cell, but I'll never get used to it. All right, Enrico. Tomorrow we'll call him. You mustn't touch me in this house. You know I don't want it. Afraid of the old lady, huh? Or is it your mother's ghost? No, leave us. My grandmother doesn't wish to see you, I'm sorry. Ugh, I'm not surprised. She's refused to see me from the start. I'm the one who won't give up. Enrico, if you think that one day your mother-in-law will wake up and decide to forgive you, so that we can apply to the courts for a new trial. You're not being realistic. Madame Moretti will never forgive you. And what should I do? Wait. I'm afraid you may have to wait until no, she... No, she's liable to live forever. She's staying alive to make sure I remain in prison. And the day she does deign to go to paradise, we'll have to begin all over from scratch. The petition, the bureaucracy, it'll take for years. Don't despair, Enrico. You were convicted only on circumstantial evidence, and they can't ignore that. If you're in jail today, it's largely due to your mother-in-law's testimony. How I'd like to wring her neck! Revenge for all these years. At least let have a valid reason for keeping me in prison. Oh, you shouldn't think that way. You are not treated so badly in prison. You have many privileges that others have not. Inside, you're almost... Well, you do as you want. And most of all, you have Nina. Yeah. There's Nina. Sarah, you are everywhere. Very commendable. You run this place single-handed. Ah, but I see your hands have suffered as I thought. Eczema. When I work, I wear gloves for protection. You have regular checkups, of course. Of course I do. Of course you do. Does my mother-in-law ever speak of me? No. And like everyone else, you're convinced she still hates me. For many old people, People, hate is a treasured companion. Do you sleep with her? What do you think would happen if I went up and saw her? I don't know. What's to stop me going up now? She's asleep. At night she lies awake. Ah, then why don't you do me a favor? When you go on up to bed, leave the door open, as though you'd forgotten. Oh, you don't have to say yes right away. By all means, think it over. You simply leave the door open.
I moved her to another room, Enrique. Sarah warned me. I prayed to the last that you wouldn't try it. You gave me your promise. Come, Miss Nina. He drove off in the car. When does he have to report? Tomorrow morning. This time, he won't go back. Call a taxi. You know me too. He's probably fast asleep by now. Room number two. Excuse me. Even more squalid than usual. You didn't complain about it being squalid when you came here. I found it revolting. But you always came. I was too down to know it was a bordello. Does he owe for anything? Nothing. Get out. escape because I'm not sure that you'd follow me. So I stay in jail. Let's have a cup of coffee. Uh, cafe, s'il vous plaît. You shouldn't have called me. I just wanted to say hi. What's wrong with that? It puts Eric in a bad mood. I had to take the phone off the hook. That's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. Your father's a very strange character. He's not my father. I was already born when my mother divorced to marry him. There is no need to tell you this, but I wanted to. Enrico is not my father. Do you understand? Wait a minute. You mean you... I promise me never to see you again. Don't make such a face. We have seen so little of each other. We we'll survive. But he. Did, 
do you understand how I feel about you? I mean, can you get it through your thick... No. I've told you everything. Or almost. The rest you can guess. Let's forget a coffee. Goodbye. I get to go out of town for two days. More tourists. Oh, uh, yeah. The usual family? A group. I pick them up tomorrow at night at the hotel. Why don't they stay home where they belong? Because they know we need the money. What are you doing? Nothing. Looking for my pills, huh? I never had any pills. I only said that to scare you. If it's true, you succeeded. What makes you think I'd hide them in here? There's a lot of other places. The refectory, the library, the laundry. And besides, you can do it so easily without them. There's an open window on the fourth floor of the infirmary. And there's always a sheet, very thin strips and... Enrico. As if I won't. <laughs> no, no. I don't have any more suspicions. I've decided to believe everything you tell me. Yes, I have complete faith in you. Now I'll give you some money. What for, Enrico? You'll be gone two days. Becoming a miser. to say she won't be coming for a few days. Yes, a group of tourists. That's what she told me anyway. Tomorrow morning she's to meet them at the hotel. 
I would dearly like to know who they are and how many. Your friend Hassan has two weeks. Does he know? We never tell them. Not until sunrise, on the day they're shot. That's why they sleep so little. Each morning could be their last. Did she really tell you that? Yes. That your tongue has the taste of honey. Is she all right? And very beautiful. Did you try it with her? Are you in love? You want to be funny. I never tried to be funny. Arnold, 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 Good morning. Good morning. I'm the guide for Calvatour. Yes. At nine o'clock, I have to collect a group for where does that? Yes. Tell them you're here. Thank you. Ah, Monsieur. Bonjour. The young lady from Casbah Tours. Merci. Hi, Nina. Oh, no. Uh, look, this trip to Once Outside was uh, planned by a bunch of friends of mine who couldn't make it, so now there's only me. So, go with your friends when they do. Oh, well, I have nothing against our going. You and me? Why not? It's paid for. Hello, Tanya. It's me, Nina. I'm here at the hotel. The group for the tour didn't show up. There's only one. No. Well, no, he wouldn't mind, but, you know, I'd prefer to... Okay, okay, bye. Listen, they say they don't give away uh, I don't want the money. <laughs> Matthew, I already told you why we can see each other. Yeah. Okay, I can see the ruins and watch us out another time. But uh, at least give me a lift back to the camp. They left me here with no transportation. That's only an hour away. You can be back before noon. Cheer up. Tell me something. Who got you into this mess? Do your friends really exist? So, you arranged everything. Why? Well, you know, when two people are attracted to each other. What are you talking about? Come on, you know what I mean? No, don't ever talk about what you feel for me. Never. Okay, okay. Stay calm, take it easy. Now, don't get yourself so riled up about it. Shut okay. up, please. Okay. All right, so we don't have to see each other again. But do you think uh, for one hour we could pretend to be friends and just talk? About what? Well, I don't know, whatever. The weather, I had been to do. You know, it's a pretty fantastic place. It's only 30 kilometers from what's the top. 15. Okay, I want you to close your eyes. Okay. Go on, I'll tell you when to open them. Okay. Now. No, not yet. <laughs> okay, you can look now. To your left. Voila. Ruins of Ike Benadou. It's so beautiful. You like it? It's incredible. Fabulous. Ah, it's a magnifique, no?
our non-existent friend. You were so sure of killing you. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were such a nice guy. Oh, but I am. I even brought a picnic basket. At our mess cook at the camp, make it some chicken. You are crazy. Probably. I'm going to go this way here. Okay, let me help you. <laughs> From Milano. He came to Morocco about 1920 and made a fortune in buying and selling. Then decided to settle here. He met my grandmother on his one and only trip to America and brought her back to Marrakesh. They just had a child, my mother. He was so jealous of both of them that he practically kept them locked up in the house. <laughs> After the family, his idol was Mussolini. Yeah. And because of his ideas, he ended in a concentration camp. That gave my mother the chance to travel and finally to get married. And then what? Then she divorced my father to marry Enrico. He was at the Italian embassy then. I was very young. I just remember Enrico in my house. And your father? He's still in Morocco. I just see him at Christmas time and on my birthday. He's very angry with me. Why? Because of Enrico. Let's talk about something different. Tell me something. What? Are you and Enrico? What's going on? Enrico is the only man I ever knew. The way things are now have become his only reason for living. I can't leave him, and I can't be unfaithful. Nina, do you love him? Sometimes I hate him. Come on, let's take a look at the ruins. That's why we're here. You know, mm. I feel so good today. I almost wish I didn't have to go back. Well, we could stay longer. How? We could leave tomorrow. Your dark and devious side is beginning to come out. Oh. Come on, give yourself a break, huh? Sounds corrupt to me. Yeah? Hmm. to visit the ruins, I'll be your guide. No, thanks. We already seen them. Oh, come on. Uh, what do you think? You want to spend the night? No. No, 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 come on. I promise to keep my distance, all right? We'll get a, we'll get a room with two beds. We'll put a curtain in between it. Well, we can get separate bedrooms. I don't care. Well, Whatever listen, you you're want. You're impossible. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, um, uh, vous pensez uh, qu'il y a des chambres dans le petit hôtel? Certainement. Uh, vous nous accompagnez, là. Oui, venez. Bon. Come on. You want me to fill yours out for you? No. There you are. Oh, pardon. There's a message for Madame, uh, from Marrakech. It's Enrico. He knows I'm here with you, alone. What the hell did he find out? I don't give a damn how he found out. He knows, and that's that. I uh, will explain to him. Tell him, tell him it's my fault. Sure, it's your fault. Why didn't you stay in your shit camp? Why did you bring me here? He's never going to believe I have nothing to do with this. He wanted me. Careful. He's just another one who wants to take you to bed. And here I am about to fall for the idea. Nina, please. There's other people here. You know that I don't think this is Look, the time. Get this into your childish head. I love you. And if you haven't already understood it, you're idiots. Well, stop it, Nina. I'm not going to take any more of this shit. Do you understand? Who do you think you are? God, why did you have to come into my life? 
Combien de temps peut... Uh, Faut-il pouvoir me cash? Deux heures. Oh, two hours, Jesus! He's not in a hotel with a private phone. He said if I ever saw you again, he'd kill himself. And he keeps his promise. Not like me. That's enough, goddamn. You want to go? Okay, we'll go right now. Come on. I want to speak to Omar, Chief Omar. It's too late for that. He's not on duty now. Try, please. It's important. It's not possible. He'll understand. Please try. Hello? Hello? Any Salina just had to bring the Omar. Hello, Nina. It's always a pleasure. I raised 200. I'm out. I see you. Two queens. Three boys. What are you doing? It's a pleasure. Hmm. It's about the same. Nina, get me another one. Oh. Don't bother. We are nearly finished. Besides, she's not tired. Right, Nina? Each one a hundred, huh? Well. Ah, oh, this one's empty too. I'm putting all my pills in the kitty. Eh? Who cares if I win or lose? I play for pleasure, not money. Ugh, I have to go. What's wrong? I cannot play with pills. How on this? Oh, no, no, no. Take it all. Oh, no. Take it. Come on, Omar. After all, you are. Take it. Yes, sir, take it. But I like the stack. It's very tight. Do it this sec. Omar. Show Nina the way out. You. I'd like to see you dead and buried. <laughs> Hello? Uh, who is this? Nina's not here. What the hell are you... Listen to me. He thinks she'll try suicide. She's not home and I can't find her anywhere. Oh, no. Oh, man. Uh... Uh... I descend immediately. Ah, oui. Monsieur Soumi asked me to call you. Oh, well, he's okay, then. And Nina thought he'd committed suicide, huh? Now he's worried about her? You know, I've had it. These two have broken my balls. I don't understand. I was only asking your help. I'll go out and find it myself. Attendez. Attendez. 
بغينا نعرفوا واش ما مازال لينا هنا كتعرف مازال لينا ما شفتيهاش كيسك سي شوف مازال مازال لينا Pourquoi elle vient chercher Nina Eh bien, nous sommes inquiets parce qu'elle n'est pas chez elle et nous n'arrivons pas à la retrouver. Qu'est-ce que c'est que cette histoire Il n'y a pas du semi dans le coup Ils ont eu une discussion. C'est lui qui a dû discuter parce que elle, Nina, elle parle très peu. Vous êtes un ami de Nina Oui. Oui. Are you English Non, American. Have you learned how long No, not really. Uh, come in. Thank you. I'm afraid you put yourself out for nothing. Nina only comes to see me at Christmas time. In case you don't know, I'm a father. Discredited, removed, put aside. The real one. <laughs> And since there is proof to the contrary. Ah. Would you be kind enough to offer some explanation for this visit? Yeah, well, when Nina disappeared, she had a bottle of sleeping pills with her. And she was very depressed. Uh, and you think she may have committed suicide? I don't know. I see. Well, whether she has or not, try to help her. Ah, yeah. how? Take her away. Away from this town, this country. Away from Enrico Salmi. <laughs> Is Nina here? No, she always goes home on weekends. Her father called. She wasn't there. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know anything. Uh, she must have some other friends. Sure, but... Do you have their numbers? Yes, but I keep my book in the agency. I don't have a phone here. Come on, let's go. All right, but later. Right now, I'm busy. Please, I'm very worried about her. Yeah, no. Qu'est-ce qu'il arrive? Excusez-moi, monsieur. Écoute. Pour vous en aller. Tu ne pourrais pas rester au cas où elle aurait besoin de quelque chose. Elle n'a besoin que de ça. Nina. Nina. She can't hear you. She's sleeping. This time she'll wake up. Tu sais ça. عندك شي حد هنا؟ وانت عندك شي حد هنا مريض؟ لا. I telephone and talk to Enrico. He wants to speak to you. Call right now. No, oh no. 
You pushed her into suicide, and you're the one who saved her by giving the alarm. Even here, you manage to do what you want. You watch her, interfere, punish her. You manipulate her better here than you would on the outside. Since you arrived, she's been avoiding me. Oh, I wish that were true. But, uh... <clears throat> but Nina didn't plan the trip to Uzadza. I did. However, you took her there just the same. You spent hours together, talking, laughing. Oh, come on. Isn't it enough she came back to you? After 1,000 years have passed, your day together still exists. I'll make her pay for it. You sick bastard. You saved her so you could punish her, didn't you? Huh? I saved her because she's mine. And no one can take her away from me. Not even Nina herself. Did you ever consider you ruining any chance she'd have for a decent, normal life? What is normal for her is me. Ever since she was 13 years old. Did you know that? Yeah, well, that's going to change because she's getting out of this and I'm going to help her. Oh, by the way, you know that she told me sometimes she hates your guts? <laughs> Naturally. I hate her too sometimes, like I know. It happens, you know, between two people who love each other. Did she say anything else? No. She has no desire to talk about it, not about you or how her mother died. I'll tell you about it. On a certain night, Sarah, the servant, accompanied my wife to a room where Nina and I were not expecting her. She could have reported me. Her daughter was a minor. Divorced and shot me anything. Instead, <laughs> she killed herself to punish me. But before, the bitch, she had written a letter to her mother, Signora Moretti, saying that if something should happen to her, I alone would have been responsible. She wanted to separate me from Nina. I'm in jail. But I have still got Nina. And if you'd like to know, it would be worse for me if I were free and not have Nina. Jesus. Don't you care about her welfare? Yes. Very much. Now, listen to me, boy. Forget her. Keep out of it. I'm told it's very difficult to establish just what blood absorbs during an intravenous wash. Maybe it wasn't poison. Could have been a sedative in the form of a massive dose, naturally. Anyway, at least it was a painless death. Poor Barbara. She just went off to sleep and and never woke up. Anyway, it was enough to put Somi away. Yes, and your Moretti took care of that. Yeah. She was in Italy when Barbara died. She came flying back like an avenging angel, carrying the famous letter which you know about. She had the body exhumed, demanded another autopsy, used her influential friends, she even took a firm of international lawyers. She stopped at nothing until she got an oracle convicted. After that, she shut herself up in Baba's bedroom and has never come out. Tell me about your wife. Mm. She was beautiful. More beautiful than Nina. Very elegant, exquisite manners, and not very lucky. Twice in her life, she opened a door she should never have opened. The first time, she found me with someone I shouldn't have been with. The second time, Nina and Enrico. I happened to run into her not long before she died, and she said to me, I'm curious to know what I'll 
outside behind the third door. Sounds to me like she was thinking of suicide. Hmm. Or else that she was going to be killed. Rico says she committed suicide. Mm -hmm. He says many things. Huh. When my wife died, Enrico was not alone in the house. Sarah was there too. Brother always promised to leave her money in the event of a death. A lot. Have you met Sarah? No, but I saw her once. She always wears gloves. Eczema, she says. Others suggest leprosy. Sarah lives in terror of being sent off to a leper colony. But with, with Barbara's money, eczema will never become leprosy. <laughs> she get the money? No. Barbara never made a will. Uh, Nina was also in the house at the time. But she was only a child then. Who hated her mother, her rival. She'd already been going to bed with Enrico for some time. Does that sound like a child to you? Huh? Now, what are you trying to make me believe? Nothing. My daughter was born after Barbara and Enrico began their relationship. Not that in the meantime, I stopped mine, of course. But does this disturb you? These things happen in, in the best of families. If you want to get rid of any doubts, go and talk with Signora Moretti. She was our daughter's only confident. You ever try asking her? Oh, yes, of course. She burst out laughing. <laughs> Maybe even Barbara didn't know. She lied to me. <laughs> I'm here for. I wanted to see how you were. I went to the hospital. You left. I'm fine. It seems that I have you to thank. Enrico gave the alarm. I think we'll have to thank him, too. I met Mr. Booty. So, you know my father. You're getting to know the whole family. What do you want? Nothing. Just to see if there was anything you wanted. Get out. And what did Mr. Moody have to say? A lot of things. The one thing he did say was to get you out of Morocco. Would you do it? Of course. I can't. Ah. Enrico, huh? It's always Enrico. How many more years of your life are you going to throw away on him? As many as he has to stay in prison. 
What is this, a debt of gratitude? No. Complicity. You know, whatever you did then, you were only a child. Doesn't change anything. Well, yes, it does. At 14 or 15 years old, you're not legally responsible for anything. Did Moti tell you about my mother? How she died? I don't give a damn how she died. Let's get the hell out of here right now. You think it was me? Look, the medicine that killed my mother. I never even saw it. You look relieved. Very relieved. Anyway, when my mother opened the door, she found both of us in bed, Enrico and me. It's as if I held her still when Enrico put the drug into the intravenous bottle. So we both are involved. Come back in 10 years, when Enrico is released. 10 years, you'll only be a memory. I know. You were wrong to come to the agency the other day. You should have let me sleep. Go away, please. No. You know what Mr. Muti told me? That Enrico might be your father. No. It's not true. Now, your grandmother could tell you she knows. You ever tried asking her, or are you afraid of the truth? Your dark side, Matthew. Well, you go on up there and you find out. You don't want to hear it, do you, huh? You don't want to hear it? Oh, yeah, Nina, run away. That's right, run away. Vous voulez la pousser à se tuer à nouveau? Ce n'est pas moi qui la pousse. C'est Enrico. C'est vous, avec vos soupçons, avec vos révélations. Vous êtes en train de détruire leur vie. Des vies ratées. Vous pensez convaincre Nina à vous suivre. Vous ne réussirez jamais. Peut-être que si j'aime parler avec Madame Moretti, hein? Allez-vous-en. Ou j'appelle la police. Appelle la police. Je n'aurais même pas besoin de signaler un cas de lèpre au service des jeunes. Tu n'as pas peur Alors, tu vas m'emmener chez Madame Moretti. On en voit si elle existe ou si c'est un fantôme. Looking for Nina? She's not here. Where did she go? Prison, I guess. Probably to apologize to you for her suicide attempt. Sarah! Sarah! Oh, she's hiding around here somewhere, eavesdropping. What are you doing here? Another parole? I took it. Oh, you mean you escaped? You know, they're gonna lock you up and throw away the key. Possessed by picked me up. You better turn yourself in as quick as possible. Listen to me, pretty boy. Mind your own business. This is my house, too, so get the hell out of here now. What's the matter? Are you nervous? I'm tired of seeing you around. For Christ's sake, you come with me. I got a surprise for you. Come on! Why is everybody in this house so goddamn amazing? that I'd see you just once again before I died. Oh, you've come back to see me, Enrico. Oh, you're a good boy. Was it Nina who persuaded you? 
Mina. Yes. She always told me one day you'd come back. I thought she said it just to cheer me up. But in my heart, I've always been expecting you, Enrico. I had faith in you and in our Lord. I don't understand. I didn't know. Oh, of course, of course. A very painful affair for all of us. You were right. If you go away, I wouldn't have blamed you. You'd never come back to this country or this house ever, ever again. But now that you're here, it makes me so happy. I thank you. Oh, oh no. It's I who should thank you. <laughs> Could you get my letters? Oh. You don't have to answer that. Nina told me she wasn't certain of your address in Europe. I always thought it was a merciful lie. I thought you still held a grudge. The trial, the sentence. <laughs> but now that you're here, it doesn't matter that you never answered. What did you write? Oh, many things. Some facts. And a request. What? You see, when Barbara died, I was deranged. I thought I was the hand of God's justice. I was blinded by sorrow for a long time. And then I suddenly realized it was the devil taking advantage of my desperation by keeping me ignorant and wicked. Oh, it took me many years, tears and prayers to understand. But then one day, the Lord enlightened me. He sent me Barbara in a dream. She was crying, asking forgiveness. She said she'd committed mortal sin, the most serious one of all. You see, I'd always believed everything Barbara told me. That you wanted to kill her. That Nina could be your daughter. Now I know she lied to me. Barbara killed herself. And there's no remission for that sin. But years ago, when I wrote that letter that would have granted you your pardon, I... My pardon? Did you sign the request for my pardon? Why, yes, Enrico. But then you went away. You see, I thought, if you could forgive Barbara, the Lord would be compassionate with my daughter. This is what I've been waiting for to ask you if you've forgiven her. And if you haven't, I beg you, do it now. Yes, I forgive. Oh, Enrico, how right I was not to die. We must tell Nina. Where is she? Why isn't she here? Haven't you seen her? No. Oh, she'll be so happy. She never wanted to leave me, you know. She and Sarah. The three of us here, alone, remembering Barbara and waiting for you. Come, come. D'accord. Nina? Oui, Nina. Que lui a-t-il dit? Vous avez détruit la vie de tout le monde. Y compris la tienne. Maintenant, tu ne peux plus faire ton chutage. Vous avez perdu Nina. Tous les deux. Hein? Où est-elle? Hein? Où est-elle? Lâchez-moi. Allez, dis-moi, où est Nina? Oh. Dis-moi. Elle est partie. Elle a pris l'avion, le premier avion. Les voyageurs du vol 610 à destination de Casablanca sont priés de se présenter à la porte numéro 1, embarquement immédiat. Whatever you did, Enrico deserved it. Don't touch me. I know you hate me at this moment. But you're finally getting away from him and the rest of those people. Try and live without them. I know you can do it if you get away from here. If you have any problems, uh, call me. I'll be waiting. I'll come to you wherever you are. Okay.
you doing here? Patrick. Eric is in Rome. Oh, Jesus. He called me. When I went to your office, he followed me. What did he say to you? He wants to see me alone. I am out. Good. Well, look, don't worry about this. If he shows up here, I'll talk to him. No, we mustn't see him. Well, what do we do? Go away. Just like that? I mean, I don't think that's the solution. Even if we left Rome, he'd find us sooner or later. You know that, don't you? Oh, come on. Come on, don't worry. May I help you? Buongiorno. I'd like to see Mr. Matthew Jackson. May I have your name, please? Enrico Sofa. Is he expecting you? I think so. Mr. Jackson, Mr. Sofa needs to see you. Okay, let him through. Enrico. I told you I don't want to see him. You better talk to him. No, send him away. Look, I, I, he'd only come back. And I think we better end this now. Okay. There he comes. I know you don't want to do this, but we have to, okay, for us, all right? Well, here we are. Matthew, you look frightened, dear. What do you want? I was passing through Rome, and I thought uh, it would be nice to say hello to Nina. Did I do wrong? You might have warned me before you came. When I did telephone, you didn't give me a chance. All morning, I've been running after you just to say, ciao. No hard feelings. With those dark glasses, you seem so... Well, you know, the last time I was back here, I was many years ago, and I felt a bit at a loss. <laughs> Okay, I've heard enough. Why don't you just get the hell out of our life, all right? <laughs> don't be in such a hurry. Now, uh, with your grandmother's death, the property in Morocco becomes yours. Do you intend to keep it? What are you getting at? Beh, io potrei comprarla. Per farne cosa? Per andarci a stare. Pensavo tu ne avessi abbastanza di casa Moretti. No, i brutti ricordi non mi fanno paura. I don't understand the damn thing you're saying. Could you speak English? He wants my grandmother's house. Let him have it. We don't want it. Why don't you let Nina speak? You're right. You want Casa Moretti? It's yours. No, no, no. I don't want a present to repay me for her. I prefer to stay a creditor. Listen, Enrico. If you came to present a bill for those years in prison, it's useless. I can't give him back to you. Ah, vedi che qualche volta allora almeno ci pensi. What is he talking about? He thinks I should feel guilty. You son I'm talking to Nina, not you. An apology. That's what you want? Guilt festus. It was I who decided your fate. At the time, it was what I wanted. Ah. All those years in prison, Nina. Si, contavi le ore per vedermi. Perché avrei dovuto farti uscire? E non ti vergogni. I think I'm going crazy. What is he talking about? No, I felt no shame. Every day I came to see you. It's as if we were living together and you weren't in prison. My visits were all you had. Nobody else, just me. With no hint of remorse, huh? Peace, Enrico. Peace is what I felt, not remorse. I had what I want. You heard her? It wasn't for revenge. It wasn't even meant as a punishment. Now you know you meant it. Now I'm beginning to lose my patience. You can get the hell out of here now. Very well, Nick. I'll take your house. I look forward to living there. Will you come with me? No. I'll wait by the car. What's going on here? It's not important. I'm sorry, Matt. I did my best. Wait a minute, you're going with him? There is nothing I can do about it. Oh, I won't let you. I would escape. I mean, I love you. I love you more than he does. I know. Oh, I don't understand. He's old now, didn't you notice? I won't even have to keep him in prison. He's mine. 